Hello lovely butterflies, it's France. Welcome to this journal on Monday, week 137. As per usual, I'm working in my handmade Coptic binded journal on Monday art journal. And I'm starting with some fluid acrylics from Deco Art Media. I'm starting with plain white, adding some water to it, and I'm going to create a gradient working my way down on the page. To create the gradient, I'm either adding a darker color or I'm adding the same color over and over again to intensify the pigmentation. And then adding the water, I'm blending it so that I can have the gradient that I want working down the paper. Adding my last color, the contrast is suddenly much more intense than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I'll just keep on blending using water and baby wipes and patience and breathing all along to obtain the gradient that I had in mind when I started. And now I still have one more darker color to add at the bottom of the page and that will finish off the gradient that I had in mind. Using my uh, large circle stencil, I'm going in with the leftover color and just adding some almost tone on tone um, circles. And as I still have some paint left over, I can use it to add some splatters as well. I still have a tiny bit of that color left over, so I'm going to use it to colorize some crackle paint. Then again, using my circle stencil, I'm applying crackle paint circles on top of the page.
I want to add some interest to those plain circles that I have at the bottom. So I'm mixing up the same colors that I used for the middle of the page. And then spreading it out on my craft sheet so that I can use it to ink up uh, one of my stamps, which is one of the London, New York stamps from my stamp set. And then just slightly stamping within the circles. Of course, when you use your stamps in this way, don't forget to clean them right away. If you leave the paint to dry in there, it will most definitely kill your stamps. Now using that leftover color mixture, I'm going to use it to add some highlights as well to those same circles. And then adding some water, I can also use it to add some splatters on the darker part of the page. Going in with some Distress Ink and using my Crackled stencil, this is the small version of my uh, stencil, I'm adding a little bit of interest to that lighter part of the spread, just very, very lightly. And actually enhancing the out of space feeling of the whole spread. As the effect is a little bit too harsh to my liking compared to the softness of the background, I'm going in with a baby wipe, making the Distress Ink react and softening it down. I still want those tone on tone circles to be slightly more visible on top of that background. So using my wide uh, uniball signal, I'm intensifying um, the highlight that I added at the top of the circle. And well, while I'm at it, I might as well add some journaling because I really like 
journaling around circles. That's just a thing that I absolutely love on an art journaling spread. As the background is really, really soft, I wanted to go for contrast for the focal element. So I started with some home rusted Tengucho paper and some cambric as well that has been colorized with quinacridone gold and white cambric, just stacking everything together and then running it through my sewing machine at some point. Before sewing everything together, I need to know how big my wording is going to be. So I'm picking one of the words from my perfect word stems, from my Illusionary Artist stem set. And I went for perfect file this time. Just stamping it using some archival ink. To give the paper an even more distressed look, I'm adding some stamping using that same stamp that I used in the circles with archival ink. And then using the stress ink and some water, I'm adding a little bit of color to that white paper. I'm using a little bit of water to distress the Tengucho paper with more ease so that I'm just distressing the edge of the paper and not going too far with it. And then using some heavy gel medium, I can stick everything in place. I wanted to add some marks um, using Quin Gold Fluid Acrylic. But it took me a moment to understand that it wasn't my card that had a problem, but my journal. My journal is getting a bit wonky. I'm getting to the last signature of it. And because of all the texture that I've, that I've already uh, put in there, it's getting hard to do delicate stuff like this. So it took me a moment to figure it out that I didn't need another card. I just needed something to make my surface more flat. Adding Quin Gold splatters is my last step for this spread. I hope you liked today's video. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you back here next time. Ta-da!